She had blisters so severe from it that when she popped them, the neighbor's dogs would start barking. Welcome to episode number 27 of the Marty and... Second floor. The Marty and the second floor. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but it is fully actual, though. You can't say nothing about that. Say what you will about that, but you can't say it. Actually full, too. And what else? What else about it, man? Oh, he stands up. He's puffing his chest out. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? He says that. Oh, hey, what's he saying, man? What's he saying? What's he looking at, huh? He looks cute what's with a long shirt. What's that, fuck? Baby? He looks cute with a long shirt. Day, like. A long sleeve shirt it's a, on. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Oh. <laughs> Look at Bosley. He thinks you're talking to him. You're actually talking to a man. Bosley met the neighbor's horse today. Yeah, my neighbor has a horse. That's so cool. Yeah, that is good news. God, it was Whenever a beautiful we need any, animal. Any horse-related stuff? Yeah. We've got a horse right there. Yeah, okay. having a horse neighbor is better than not having a horse neighbor. Horses are vital. Imagine highways with stallions <laughs> stampeding <laughs> back and forth. And brumbies. <laughs> You're such a... Woo! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, no one would have to fuel up anywhere. You know, fucking saving the environment. The bloody horse is having a great day outside. He was a friendly, friendly creature. Do you remember his name? Yeah. G- 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 yeah, it was Gaston something or something. like that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gaston. Like from that. Wasn't he the bad guy in Cinderella? Or what's that? Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Gaston. Was he really Gaston? I Gaston. Think I made that up. I've got those fucking hairs going on over the eyes again. Yeah, and how funny was it that he, he, she said he was a grumpy horse? Yeah. He's a grumpy horse. Like, if they have personalities, Bosley's still looking at me like I'm fucking talking to him the fucking day. Yeah, can't, can't Gaston is the bad guy in Beauty and the Beast. Uh, yeah, I thought it was. Remember that song? That Gaston song when they go nuts in the park. At the yeah, very yeah. beginning. Uh, Gas, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't you fucking, fucking remember it. Lee? <laughs> um, what happened last week? They're fucking, remaking oh, Pinocchio John, John, in real life. life. Tom Hanks is going to be Geppetto. Oh, yes. Tom Hanks, the pedophile, <laughs> will be Geppetto. How <laughs> <laughs> fitting. <laughs> I've got hairs that go across my eyes now. That's just how I am. You I've got fucking hairy eyes, mate. Jesus fucking. Oh, every time when we do the podcast. Oh, we had Michael's. That's what I was going to talk about. We had Michael's housewarming on the bloody weekend, didn't we? And what did we do? We got on the bloody ketamine. Speaking of we horses. We got on the fucking like, Coke. We had bloody alcohol with all Valiums thrown around and it was fucking... What was you it? You had your first time Weed. on Ket. Yeah, yeah. Holy fuck, is it fun? We can't talk about it too much. I don't know. Can we? I don't know. Fuck the world. Drugs are okay as long as you're above 18. Oh, I just shot. Fuck. Uh, yeah. And then that's like an ad for not to do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> do drugs and you'll shit yourself involuntarily all the time yeah and we don't as we said we don't do them all the time it's just for special occasions yeah you special occasions we everything do, 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 in moderation do, do, do. it's like you don't want to be drinking yeah. every day you just do it now and then and then same with cigarettes you can just smoke them every second day yeah. I got to watch it and remember it all yeah so anyway well, it's, yeah. Not, it's, not, it's not about the drug that taking that was our memory <laughs> like you said last week it's not memory. about the drug taking but we did have a bloody good time didn't we like yeah you, like you came up for as well fucking oh. stuff with the boys around the house look at the boys oh. lying around all fucked did you enjoy we, the improv yeah, we, shit yeah we did some acting and that was a lot of fun we, it's so fun I what did we do what we, we, do? Were, oh, we had yeah. to be snakes it had That's to be snakes right. or like you had to Oh, it, yeah, like you were our right. job we are doing job interviews yeah. and you were the boss and we had to try and get a job with you yeah fucking hell Lockie w- was making me piss myself that. laughing he'd always be like Mark head off us <laughs> <laughs> he, oh it got me off hard do you remember at one point we were doing a scenario and me and fucking Lockie went to town kissing each other for a bit yeah you really got into it <laughs> 
<laughs> oh I thought God. if we committed, it'd be funny. But, then, yeah, but me and James around, look at you guys, and you're just like, whoa. <laughs> well, me and James are still in trying to stay in. Ca- we were mum and dad to you, so we were trying oh, yeah, to we were, we were trying to be in character, and we were like snickering, and then uh, yeah, the, everyone else just was shocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I felt oh, it was weird, but Lockie fucking committed to it. Yeah, he always so, and commits. God, he's a funny guy. It was a fucking fun weekend, and then Sunday was ruined. What happened Sunday again? We slept. I, I didn't wake oh, up yeah. till like... Fuck, oh. that's right. Yeah, Sunday. Well, it's... Yeah, this, yeah we did. We, miss, we missed a fun day there. But fuck, it's good sleeping all day sometimes. Oh, dude. Especially when you're up at... The, we always have to be up at 5 a.m. for fucking baking. We're oh, like, God. We always, so we're just baking. always baking. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our real jobs. We're actually bakers as well. Yeah, so now, right, fucking, we rock up, and here we fucking are, and Matt's already here. Weren't you, mate? He was doing bloody bit of research for On This Days. Wasn't yeah. you, mate, eh? Fucking unbelievable. We're out unbelievable. All day. And anyway, we got here, and he's, he's fucking throwing, like, fucking, what was ba- fucking donuts at the wall and shit? He's gone crazy. But he said, he said, turn to me and said, I have four very good On This Days, he said. And then he handed me a piece of paper, and I haven't seen him since just now. Where, where'd you go? Oh, he just went over there. I was researching. Mm. He's preparing for next week. I think I can see where this fucking thing's coming from. I don't, have, it's has your that, eyelashes. Has, has that really been there f- since last week? No, they just come just before the podcast. <laughs> Maybe it's because when you put the bloody eyeliner on. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's your fucking oh. eye- eyeliner and your eyelashes. You fucking Wow, ass. you Solved guys it. are great scientists. That, well, yeah. Research. It was. Look, it was all me. That was all me. It feels me. like it's my eyebrows. I don't put it. No, it might, it's not my bottom li- uh, bottom eyelid. Yeah, your lips are on your eyes. Mm. <laughs> it's not my bottom eyelid. So, it, it has to be because it's coming from up here. It's up the top. Anyway, fucking first world problems. Let's get on with yes, the research. So moving on from the eye hair. <clears throat> on this day in 1992, Mark Wahlberg landed on his back after jumping off a four-story building to impress right. a girl he was seeing. He was going for 10 front flips but lost control midair and was spinning out of control until he slapped onto the ground. Incredibly, his only injury was a shattered hip. A really shattered hip. Even so, he managed to walk back up to his apartment in an attempt to hide his injuries to avoid further embarrassment from the girl still watching him from the four stories up. He bit her ears off when she pointed out that he was clearly badly injured. Man, he's aggressive. And he's an aggressive reaction to that. Well, that was going to be a nice story, but that took a nasty turn there at the end, Matthew Brown. What is it? What is it? it was it his wife? No, no, he was just took a jump, jumped off a building so to this impress is before a, he got married to impress yeah. a girl he was seeing. Yeah, Do you know who Entourage is like loosely based? The yeah, idea is based off his life. Yeah, apparently it's is that crazy? Yeah, I heard that the other day. Yeah, I spoke to him on this day. In 1996, Michael Jordan started freezing his piss. He keeps it in a massive cold room at his house and has like a million liters of piss now. He says he's saving it because he says it's hilarious when people come over and he gives them a tour of his house and they get to see the piss room. The confusion in their eyes gives him sexual gratification as well as a bit of a laugh. (laughs) Imagine doing that Committing to it Having just heaps of rooms Filled with frozen piss (laughs) He's got enough money That he could do that He could just fucking Pay people for their piss And just get a piss room Like that Mm. Boom Like that cunt Fucking there's always Imagine how much piss Right now is gushing In the entire world (laughs) Gushing Ooh Imagine all that All right down Every human pissing Right now That piss was landing On you did you guys I'd, watch his I'd Netflix be, doco? Who? I'd be all right with it. The Michael Jordan one on Netflix? Oh, yeah. I got like two so episodes good. in. I love that Or three shit. episodes in. Yeah, what happens in fun. the end? Oh, the he best. Wins. We're not going to ruin it for anyone, but okay. fuck yeah. me. I don't know. The, I didn't know the Chicago Bulls story, but... <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's a good... It's a really good story. I didn't realize how good it was. Does it get better than past like yeah. the first yeah, yeah, two? The first, yeah. Everyone always says the first episode is shit, but you just got to bloody, you got to commit to the yeah. cause. Yeah, it's like the Epstein one. On this day in 2003, Julia Roberts would smash her face into walls, cars and steel sheds in an effort to shorten her snout. And there was a comment once about her on social media that she said she looks a little bit like a horse and she really took it to heart. She's all right now, but for a while she looked a bit like a cooked then fucked apple. 
A cooked than fucked. Holy shit. <clears throat> On this day in 2016, Clint Eastwood turned 168 years old. He's still alive today and his skeleton can now be seen through his shirt and he doesn't excrete bodily fluids anymore except vomit. The vomit is always a thick, dark paste. He only whispers when he speaks and his testicles has, have turned into a soft, foamy material. He's very, very old. <laughs> and he is He's very very old how old is she apart from 168 he's 90 is he no he's not yeah he's 90 years old he made a movie like old. last year yeah I he did that he, he did that fat. movie the what was it the mule um, which is really weird, racist old man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, um, and wasn't he still directing? And yeah, shit as well, well he directs like fucking ninety years old. He directs most of his, he, uh, nearly all of his movies. He's directed himself. Like, he's an incredible. Grand Torino, he is that one? He's dead. We saw that. Yeah, Grand Torino. Is he like? Is he racist in that as well? Is he racist in the Mule? Yeah, but like it's more. Um, he he becomes not racist. Yeah, he becomes not <laughs> racist. Yeah. So it's like a lesson about a good lesson about racism. Yeah. Okay. Um. But that's fucked up. If he falls over, he's dead. He's, he's so like, frail. I think for my dad died at 91. Yeah, for, for what he's doing at 90, it's, it's pretty incredible. Man, it'd be so tempting. You just push him over. That's it. It's like pushing someone off a cliff. He's always on the I edge of a cliff. I think he's pretty fit. For an old dude, yeah. Oh, man, he's fucking nearly... Well, you heard. You, yeah, you wrote... Paste, you the did the research. Paste you, re 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 you researched. You re did. Re you re fucking heard Do you know he's older than Sean Connery? How old she is? No, he's older than Sean Connery. Yeah, he looks Sean like- Sean Connery's looks, 89 and Sean Connery like Sean, looks old like, and well, seems old. Jeez, he's done all right too. Yeah. What's his number, Matt? How many? Mm. Did you know Sean Connery got voted the best Bond ever? Yeah, of course. He's got a- For me, I really like Daniel Craig, the current Bond, but- Yeah, he, I reckon but, Daniel Craig's fucking yeah, the but, best. I haven't really watched the- I don't but, um, watch Bond, The old but. one is he is pretty good and he's he's cheeky as well. He's very cheeky yeah. Bond. Yeah. And yeah, I like the- There's, there's that great he's scene like where- He's 60 years old as well, Daniel Craig. Yeah, he's getting old. He's, in his, he's nearly 50, I think. I no, he's he'll... like, fuck, I swear nah, to God, look man, at him. He's younger. Man, man, man. He's, man. he's 57, I guarantee. I hope that we get to be the next James Bond. Bond, like us two oh, together fuck. no us two together yeah, no, i always good. wanna and we're we Please. are bond james is bond <laughs> <laughs> and we're james's <laughs> we are james's bond <laughs> and we fight <laughs> the crime <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the in the bad guy in the movie's box boy <laughs> <laughs> and he's just sliding around everywhere and we're <laughs> running after just him. He's doing his dances. <laughs> yeah! I had to get you a Mr. Bonds. <laughs> James is Bond. Oh, fuck <laughs> that. That was good. How old's Daniel Craig? Uh, 52. I knew fuck. it. I knew it. We were both wrong. Yeah. But uh, the reason Sean Connery's so funny as a Bond is that he do little he's... cheeky things. There's that scene. I can't remember which one. I think it's Goldfinger or Goldmember, hmm. whichever one. Got him confused. But um, the, where the chick's like, can you hand me some clothes? And he like hands her shoes. Mm. He's, and he sits back and watches. I don't think I've watched any of the fucking old f shit fuck off things with him fucking back. <laughs> yeah, never been a bit a Never hard been watch. a big action. You yeah, can yeah. tell what's going to happen five minutes in. There's a love interest. There's a, there's a complication, but everything always works out. James man. Bond is like the better version of fucking Avengers. Just. Ah, just, yeah. He's just because he's like, a real man. Yeah. Oh, not even that. It's just, it's fucking, it's not a superhero. It's just some fucking. It's a dude who's fucking pretty sick and a bit of an alcoholic <laughs> with his fucking martinis. Am I right, brother? <laughs> 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 Oh, I like the head bob. You got to do that more often. Oh, yeah. That is some good shit. Um, yeah, uh, it's probably more entertaining to watch the Avengers, I guess. But oh, it depends. If you're watching the new Bonds, the new Bonds are like yeah. slightly better than the Avenger films, which means they're still shit. And then the old Bonds are really shit. The only because thing is they're, they're very, outdated. They're very different movies. So. Yeah, yeah. I guess one just in action. Just. Ah, that's what it is. <laughs> the whole time. 
<laughs> That's an action movie to me. <laughs> oh. 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 Which brings us to our next segment, which is, has been renamed. <laughs> That was pretty. I like that one. And there's a segment where we just answer questions that you guys have sent in via our Instagram. By the way, this podcast is brought to you by the University of Markle, our website, where we post fucking good shit. Shit we can't post on social media. Social media. Well, we really, yeah, just fucked up. So risky now these days. Even, well, I guess these aren't, like, hardly any of these, hardly, cut that, Connor, hardly any of these podcasts are monetized. Yeah, oh, the podcast. So like, yeah. That's why we can talk freely here, but with stunts and uh, being rascals. We can't risk it. We can't you know, risk it on social media without it being cut or cancelled <laughs> or posting, deleted. We're posting Michael's new house tour to the website so, so you get to see the whole house and the whole, this little setup has a little cameo in it. So, like, yeah, just fucking sign up. It's only fucking... Oi, boys, oi, it's you, only fucking seven dollars, man. You were the like five US. fuck that oi. day. He was it's just... It's only seven dollars, brother. Seven dollars a month, brother. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, give us a bloody bone, eh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Anyway, let's answer some bloody questions. I'm trying to find albums. Yes. I love albums. Here we go. <laughs> that excites this me. This one's from Ryan underscore Jones underscore RJ. If the trots of a horse was to can be why, then if not for his can be the who. Oh. Fuck it. Let, man. Let, let, that, let that just sink in because, well, one of three things really spring to mind. Isn't that right? Correct. So, I'd say it can, but it can't. Well, and that's just the thing. It's like, is it really, or is it even real? So, but we'll leave that one with you, Ryan. Very, very good question, though. I understand. Like that's yeah. Like that's made me a bit emotional. Yeah, actually. I'm. I've got like half a heart erection. A <laughs> heartburn. I've, I'm feeling heartburn. <laughs> I've got gastro. All right, next question is from uh, it's a bunch of like, like fucking what would you call that? Like little symbols, isn't it? Isn't that right at the top there? Yeah, or just Emma. A uh, underscore uh. Uh, underscore Tyler Rodica. Big fan of the shit you guys do. My question for the podcast is: Is the reason for Matthew Gregory Brown being such a hard worker for his research job because of the fact that he previously worked for the concreting company Wholesome? Not to mention the fact that three. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he works here now. He's re- he's re- he is research now. So it's like. Yeah, that's probably why you see him doing more work on 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 this day is because he is just he's he's he is research. Like when kids are doing it on their assignments, they invite him over and he goes there because he helps them with research. But he like he's like everywhere because yeah. he is research. even adults when they have to go back and look at shit like, like he's, algebra and stuff. Like he's Google. Like he's he's. I'm Google. a search engine. Yeah, he's. He is everything that you see and be see. R two Matt Brown is. That is well said. <laughs> That's well said. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Matt! You are fucking. You are the world. You are the world. You are the children. Oh. You are oh. the ones make a mess and let's start. Anyway, next question is from Russ Sorry. Cortese <laughs> underscore tattoos. Do you ever feel like just giving up? <laughs> we all have our moments. <laughs> yeah. No, of course, moments. Russ. Um, well, you know, no, not not really. But you just, that's the thing. You can't. Because as soon as you feel like it, then you're doing something wrong. Life keeps going on. Yeah, that's the thing. You can never switch off, so you can't just give up. Because then you wake up the next day and you keep doing it. Every day. Wake up, film. Wake up, film. Every day, right? 
Just How will we going. hurt ourselves today? Just keep dancing. Just keep moving and smiling. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were crying. <laughs> it looked like in your eyes you were about to cry. <laughs> I wish you did, dude. Oh. Really hard, so it squirted out horizontally. Yeah, on the mat. <laughs> oh. All right. <clears throat> Next question is from Tame Wales HGO. Why does Michael always get more fucked up in your videos? Is it because Marty's a little bitch? We have a video that we're going to film this week called Who Has the Higher Pain Threshold? And we're going to put it on the University of Markle. On the website. We can't put it on social media because it's too much pain. We will find out. There's a lot of people always want to know. But yeah. You think it's even. I'm up there with thinking I might. Look, look, everyone. This is what people need to understand with our videos. All right. We both are better at different things. I I am better at the research combining formulas and numbers and pr- presenting physics and algorithms better. Just that part. Michael's better in the field. Michael's better in the field. He's fearless. He's he just knows his role in the field. So so that in science, it's for science. Michael gets hurt more because it's it's science. There has to be prac and there has to be theory. And I'm prac and you're theory. Exactly. And together, we're clearly. And then the the pranks, I don't know. I guess I'm just way better at. And and, and like, it's not in Michael's nature as much. Like, it's just, I'm just, I just like fucking with people a bit more, you know? But so it's just in my nature to constantly be just fucking doing shit to annoy because it makes me laugh seeing him. Don't touch me. (laughs) Every See time I mean? you walk past him, See every what time. What mean? Try and get like you try and fucking get out of your car with him next year. Like if, grab he, your ass. if he went to touch me, I'd like I'd like it. I'd have a little giggle and a clap with him. Yeah, and I hate touch him touch. back. I touch him back straight away. Don't. <laughs> yeah, it's he just likes fucking with me because he gets reaction. <laughs> next question is from Stay Wild, America. Podcast question for Michael. For $5,000, would you lay in a bed full of creepy crawlies for three hours? For five grand. After our latest meetings with our tax accountants, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast question for Marty. What are your top three favorite gas station snacks of all time? Kinder Buenos. Good question. Kinder Buenos. I fucking... I don't know why. They just bring me back to my little uh, German or section that flavor as a kid. What are they? Kinder Bueno. You know, the, the Kinder oh, Surprises, yeah, yeah. but Sorry. the long form. Yeah. Um, and then, like, I don't know, like a can of Coke and probably, like... Um, Probably maybe some chippies or something. (laughs) Maybe some Doritos or something. Some Red Rock Deli chips. Some chippies or something. Do you like bounties? I don't like that bounties. Oh, Oh, Kit Kats. Fucking Kit Kats. Oh, Kit Kats are good. (sighs) I love your bounty story. (laughs) What's my bounty story? That guy beat you up. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Oh, fuck. (laughs) Steven, (laughs) fuck you. (laughs) Yeah, some kid. I think I told the world this. I don't know. Did you tell that last week? I I can't remember, but it was. I had a good. I was in like year fucking five or six, walking past a high school. Hello to him, and he. No, he's like, hey man. I was like, hey. (laughs) He was in front of some girls, and they were like year nine or something, and I'm like year six or year five. And then, like, I walk 100 meters down the road eating my bounty, and then I just cop it to the back of the head. And he puts me up on a tree and just beats the shit out of me. Oh my god, why? I don't know. Yeah, it was fucked. He, what the fuck? Why? So he, he just... No, he was a site. He was known all throughout Canberra to be like a. His family was fucked. Oh my um, god! And then we caught him. My tennis coach, Adrian. God bless you. We went out and we didn't find him, but we have worked out who his name was and stuff. And then I think we've said this story before, maybe, but six months down the line, we had like a fucking. What's it called when you all have to have a chat? A sit down. A sit down with like his family and my family and then police officers. And then I don't know, he, he just apologized. And then they were like, is that good enough? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 I was over it. I was like, yeah, it's fine. And then we sort of became friends. He'd see me at, I know, I remember one time I was playing a tennis tournament. Funny story for you. <laughs> And there he was on his bike looking through the back of the fence like, <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, hey, dude. And he's like, hey. 
And that's the last time we ever spoke. Oh, wow. But then fucking like a year earlier, he'd be, yeah, oh, dude, he'd be on fucking heavy. I'd say ice, possibly all the, all the shit. Don't assume, Michael. Yeah, yeah Michael, true. He, I could be a he might have come good. He, he might have come a lawyer good. in London. Uh, that doesn't sound like he was after the bounty. Though. He wasn't it? after the bounty. He was just, he, he, he'd bash heaps of kids. <laughs> yeah, he just wanted to fucking hit someone. I just enjoyed the way but Michael I, I said I bought bounty. a bounty and I was really happy walking down the street. I wonder what the fuck must go through your fucking mind. Like, there must be something not right. Like, something must not be working for, for you to just see something like, oh, like so much rage all yeah. of a sudden to fucking beat this shit out of a random kid. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. And he didn't just hit me in the back of the head. Like, he fully pulled me up on against a tree <laughs> and just went to town, worked my fucking ribs. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Were you cackling the whole time? Well, yeah, like, I think because, you know, when you're in shock, you don't feel the pain. So, I was fine after it. But then I was just like, fuck, why did he do that? <laughs> It's not like it's not like me when I was, you know, fucking eighteen going out with you where I just stir everyone up. I was just this kid trying to enjoy his bounty. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> crazy man. Crazy. It's a crazy world out there. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Maybe um, cut his last name because he probably listens to it. <laughs> he probably lives next door. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Mike Royer ninety four. Hey guys, try to pronounce the longest name in the world of a village. No, see, I'm worried that this is one of them things. Oh, I think they tried to do this last time. I just saw it again. Yeah, yeah sorry, I'm, I'm we worried. can't risk it. Yeah, no, but we can leave this in. I'm worried that it's like a whole bunch of letters. If it's something like if I say that if you play in reverse, it's me saying something real fucked up. Because I think I've seen like people getting cameos and they get them to say, oh, read this. And then they read it and then they and then they post them and play it in reverse. And it sounds like well, there's no something. fucking way that that's a name. No, no. So like, like, yeah, no. So it must be what you think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So anyway, next question is from Greg Donkey two seven six four eight. Why do we have to go disco dancing? Well, it's just we simply must. We simply will. We will again. My name is Ben. ben. Now go <laughs> disco, disco dance, dance. <laughs> and that's and why disco dancing. It's it's important. Think about it. It's fucking. We got to ride it's it. It's nice like, we moving gotta, your body about. We got to and and Greg's bloody was it Greg's? Yeah, Greg Shelton yeah, sent in. Uh, yeah, heaps of lyrics. We got to fucking. We got to make it happen one day. We got to actually. This write is so song. much to do. Especially we've only, with this. We've only mentioned fucking like a few things. Uh, and everyone keeps coming song, back to it. Yeah, in in a in a few fucking videos at the end, and it's really bloody caught on. Yeah, it's it's. I can't believe it. I was just at fucking lunch with Connor one day, and it popped in my head. Yeah, and then we brought, started I doing brought it, it back to you, and then we just elaborated on it, and then before you knew it, we couldn't stop. And then we were just doing it everywhere. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah, it was. It Remember the time when we were in the toilets, <laughs> and there was that poor dude who we literally <laughs> like just in the toilets being weird. <laughs> no, it was complete <laughs> silence. The only things being said was me outside going, "We simply m-. no." I would keep going, and then she said to me it's good we, we simply must we simply, like just kept saying with disco dance yeah disco. yes 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 <laughs> like, he's he's just sitting in there taking a shit this stranger and then silence again like come, while we we're piecing ourselves <laughs> laughing and then but, again i just yeah straight away it was just fucking ridiculous and then you heard him we would have little chuckles and yeah the in guy the- in the store was pissing himself <laughs> yeah. as well oh. but then there was another guy who was shit scared and didn't even look at us and just went ran straight out of the bathroom after because it sounds fucking yeah like, you think we were insane we were in there for a while fucking, too standing in the corner of fucking bathroom this question is from rehon mara is junior marry one kill one fuck one caitlin jenner judge judy with human shit on her back and that bitch carol baskin whoa i'd probably marry judge judy just because she's gonna die soon it's a fact. I'd kill Caitlyn Jenner because she's killed someone, murderer, before. <laughs> oh, fuck. So is Carol Baskin. Mm. Oh, I will, I'd rather fuck Carol Baskin over Caitlyn Jenner with my personal preference. So, I'd kill Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Because right. she's killed someone. 
Oh, but I guess it wasn't intentional. God damn it. No, Wait, it's hard. No, it's like I would <laughs> I would marry Judge Judy just because she's going to die soon and then you have your life back. And I would... Um, and plus, she's pretty fucking... She's 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 got a pretty. She'd good probably life. be able to help you out with some. Yeah, exactly. She'd be she'd be good for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, if I because I have to fuck one, I would just have to choose Carol over Caitlyn. So the only last remaining option is to kill Caitlyn Jenner. It's not confirmed that Carol Baskin, she did not go away for murder, right? But it is confirmed that Caitlyn Jenner. Fuck, I guess it wasn't a fucking murder, was it? Was it manslaughter or ma- I'd be, manslaughter? Hang on, I'd be smart about this. I would I would uh, kill Carol Baskin. I'd fuck Kate. Oh, uh, no, wait. Who was the oh, other one? Oh, no, I'd fuck Caitlin. Who was, a, who was the one you'd Judge. fuck? Judge, I'd fuck Judge Judy. There's something hot about that. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I'd marry Caitlyn Jenner for the money. Ooh, uh, Brown Town Strikes <laughs> Back. Oh, Matthew Brown, Matthew Brown, Gregory, 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 Brown, Brown, Matt. <laughs> anyway, next question. <laughs> Whew. Man. Mm. Oh, man. Next question is from Rain. R-E-I-N, right? And then there's a dot and then lad. So, L-A-D at the end after. So, anyway, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a look at what he's written, everyone. <clears throat> Podcast question: If I piss your bed, Michael, would you buy would you, would buy a new bed or just flip the fucking fully actual mattress, <laughs> dude? I'd flip it all the way. <laughs> yeah, he's. I, what I do you mean? No, I, I don't even flip it now. I just put fucking fans down on it and just wait a day. Yeah, and then when one side is heavily crustified after that's happened a few times in a few months, then he flips it, dude. I even this is fuck. This sucks for me. I shouldn't say this. Oh. I got. T- I couldn't even be fucked because we broke out my fan the other day. So it happened. I don't know weeks ago now. But remember we did the office. Remember we did the office antics and we threw the fan. It actually broke. Ah uh, right? yes. So yes. I pissed the bed in between that time. Sometime right. And so I didn't have a fan. So I just left it. I didn't even put a fan over it. I didn't even change the oh, sheet. Oh, man. And by the next day, it had naturally dried or just gone deeper into the one bed mattress. This is the beauty of one bed mattresses. Oh, oh, that is not they, an endorsement for them. They can fucking soak up piss and make it disappear somewhere. Oh, my God. It we evaporates. Should, we should definitely get another one bed mattress brand deal because they've given us two so far. And that if they give us another one, that's what we're doing. Ah, oh, one bed mattresses. Look how well they absorb my piss. <laughs> <laughs> Within 12 hours, I'm able to lie back down. Oh, I can piss all I want. And even somehow <laughs> it like absorbed the fucking sheet dried as well. <laughs> it was perfect. Because I couldn't, I didn't have any fucking clean sheets. <laughs> yeah. So it was that was it. But yeah, go me. I'm I'm doing well. Woo! Woo! All right, last question. Oh, that is the last question. Would you believe that? Would you believe that? Yep. All, All right. right. Let's brings let's us to our, to our next, next segment. segment. It's been Rain's called. This is a segment where we just unbox the fucking shit you can't send us in our PO box. It's right here. Read it out loud for everyone. Matt. P.O. Box 256 Tagum, spelled T-A-I-G-U-M, 4018.qld.aus. Woo! Or Australia for long. Woo! Look at this. We have a big old box. What's we got in here? What's that? What's that, eh? What's that? What are you touching, huh? I don't touch it. I didn't fucking even <laughs> raise my hand. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh he's come over. Oh, darling, fuck it. It's so funny how he comes over when that noise is happening because he likes it. I really don't know how to open God, it. He's beautiful. You should have seen Bosley's reaction. The horse and him oh, kissed today. It was yeah, so yeah. fucking beautiful. <laughs> Bosley kissed a horse. Oh, and then he got a bit panicked. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Did you see no, he's not a dog. Out? He's not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. lied to me, daddy. You it's said on our it was story a story right now. You said it was but a dog. I guess it's a week from now for you guys. <laughs> he turned back. <laughs> Are you talking to me? You lied to me, Daddy. Oh, he, he thinks, thinks he's a- got a toy. He literally thinks this is a toy. Oh, that's why. Because he would think that me making those noises over there is me being like, oh, this is something for you. Yeah, sorry, dude. You miss out. Shit. You fucking miss out. Bosley. Sorry, Bozzy. Good boy. Dude, so he's bought us uh, the cricket uh, box. So a cricket box is like... 
That's something you put on your dick and balls when you're batting, so it protects your dick and balls from getting fucked up bad. So I think he... Is this his shit? He said, guys, enjoy the enclosed dick protectors. You need them. Because he hasn't mentioned any brand or anything. P.S. The best vid content you make is where you need dick protectors. <laughs> All right. He likes our dick hat Maybe videos. we should do... Maybe we should an do... An experiment to see how much these things work. Yeah. And it'll end with us driving over our dicks with this there. And if we can, if we handle a car, then we know they work. <laughs> Holy sh! Is this what a cup is? Like, is this? Yeah, a, it's yeah. the same mm. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Very good. Thanks, dude. Thank you very much, mate. We'll fucking we'll use one, and then we'll put one up here, eh? Nah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's do an experiment to see how effective these are. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Bosley? Can over? He can't believe it. He can't bloody believe it. <laughs> All right, that oh, is the no. end of... I just realized what time it is. <laughs> oh, that is the end of the PO unboxing segment. Continue oh. to send us your shit. We love opening it every week. It's great. Uh, the next segment has been renamed to... Marty, please stop it, Marty. And this is a segment where we just do stunts and uh, we both do very equal. We both get in the same amount of pain. We both take 50, 50 <sighs> even split of stunt that we each do to each other. And uh, for this week, I'm going to get this massive, massive rubber band and I'm going to pull it back as far as I fucking can. <laughs> Really far, like they bend a long, long way. And then I'm going to flick it into Michael's fucking forehead right in the middle, right in the fucking middle of your forehead, Michael. <laughs> is that I like the other way the wasp <laughs> he likes it the other way <laughs> yeah. probably works <laughs> <laughs> oh I thought the beers would give me confidence but they're not doing anything don't hit my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I won't hit your eyes. Right, here we go, everybody. I think you go the long way. <laughs> Whoa, that was quick. <laughs> I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna make it fucking. Oh, I thought you were gonna build it up. I'm blind over though. Whoa, how bad? Okay. Like I, that. I think that was all right. I, I thought the long way would have been better. Yeah, no, no, that's still pretty bloody good because it's twice a double, double the whack. Is there a mark? You look like you're a bit red, but just from tensing. No, no, there's a, there will be a mark right here. Oh, yeah. It's like a birthmark. Mm, a little birthmark. Yeah, it's a little cheeky. birthmark yeah, on your forehead. It's like, wow. Mm. Do you know what I mean? <gasps> um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that Ooh. is the name of our last segment, which is where we do a prank call. Let's not achieve on David Fields in pain. And I live on the second floor. Hey, sexy and dad, my mate Joe. Jai- oh, I was fucking playing. He's recently got done speeding one forty ish in an eighties and going through the airport link tunnel in Queensland. He's been fined over one K in eight points, as well as six months suspension. I do to call him up to prank him, saying he's missed court date. And he just fuck with him saying he's in big trouble, what him a good luck. No, oh, yeah, that's good. We can do that one too, Joshy. How exciting. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with uh, Jai Yeah, it's me. Yeah, um, g'day, it's just Judy from the Brisbane Magistrate Court here. Um, just calling, uh, wondering why you didn't come to uh, court today. You've seemed to Sorry? have missed your uh, court hearing today. I didn't think, well, for what? Um, for, uh, 142 in an 80 zone going through an airport link tunnel in Queensland. Uh, oh, I, I was led to believe that I didn't have to go to court. Uh, it says here that, uh, yeah, you were definitely meant to come in today. And um, as a result, um, your court date's been changed for another six months and you're going to have okay. to hire a lawyer. And um, yep. basically it means that uh, the court can come and repossess your car. For how long? Well, up until up until the next court hearing, unfortunately. Okay, so how do I... 
is there a way of making that not possible? Because I was never told about a court thing. Well, it says that, um, so uh, there's a quite a lengthy process up to a court hearing. Um, so you should, yeah. have, you should have received uh, plenty of notices, um, lots of letters, mate, letters in, the, in, the, in the mail, and also um, uh, usually standard protocol is to also uh, call... Uh, call the uh, the plaintiff to to come in, and um, okay. and and texting and stuff like that. So yeah, there's there's I'd plenty. Never, I can, I'd never got a text calls nothing. Yeah, that, yeah. emails nothing. Look, yeah, yeah, you have to try and understand that. Um, you know the 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 people that I That's call at the end of the day who've missed their uh, court hearing, uh, they they're not yep. usually um very honest people that they don't usually give me a very straight up answer i'm not i'm not sort of expecting you to tell me the truth at the moment i'm just calling to let you know that um you've uh, yeah your court you've missed your court hearing and um yeah you in 6 months time um that'll be your next one and um and the boys and the boys are going to come by and, and sort of uh take your car there take okay so what's the process of getting my car inbounded okay so uh, the big tow truck will come and um, yep. they'll, they'll pop it on the on the back of your car, yep. and and, uh, and then they'll sort of um, they got like the a winch a winch or whatever, and they yeah 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 oh that, yeah yeah like I, I get how a tow truck works, but what's the what's the thing with that? Okay. Um, so so that's just purely because it was a traffic violation. That's just standard protocol. So yeah, no no, no I I understand that, but um um like. What charges are there for that? The police so if, if you're uh, losing a license, I don't have the um, whole list of the charges here, but there is a charge for missing your, your court hearing. And failure to appear in a, a court um, is yep. also carries a um, up to a $15,000 fine. Um, oh, okay. If you can't um, explain um, or give a good reason yeah. as, to, as to why you missed your um, your court hearing or even okay. sort of letting us know that you weren't going to make it, you know, that's some, yeah, some, yeah. sometimes... Yeah, I'm just confused as I never got that. letters in the mail or anything. Yeah, yeah, well, like, like I don't know, like, yeah, it's, it's like a tricky one, isn't it? Because, you know, <laughs> it's like... It's like, oh, I get, it's just, it's crazy. Yeah. No, no, like, I understand, but, yeah, I, I honestly can say that I never received anything in the mail, mate. Yeah, yeah, well, it's just, it's just, well, like, it's, it's just, honestly, it's, well, it's, it's just, like, it's, like, it's full on, it, well, it's full on, first of all. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? One full You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, and, and, well, and secondly, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like, bloody, you know, you know, what are you going to, exactly, so it's like, what are you going to bloody do? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, but I, I understand what you're saying. Look, I, I completely understand what you're saying. Yep. And um, look, look, I'm willing to cut you a deal, okay? A little slice of the yep. action. How's this for you, all right? Yep. I'm looking. I can click my little button here and make everything yep. go away. Bye bye. Yep. If you transfer me ten thousand dollars. Sorry. <clears throat> Don't repeat this out loud. I can make it all go away. The push of a button. Ten thousand dollars. That's all. Uh, how do I? Cause I, I don't have ten thousand dollars. Well, look, I'll give you two days, okay, to get ten. Are you able to? Are you able to actually um send me an email? Look, I don't like to um, get anything in writing, okay, for obvious reasons, darling. <laughs> okay. So, um, look, I can give you my personal deeds, right? So you can contact me, but other than that, that's, that's nothing that I can really talk about that. Okay. Um, what... Yeah, well, what are your personal details? Okay, my personal details are Marty and Michael. Sorry? Marty and Michael. Fucking hell, card. <laughs> fuck, no way. There is no fucking way. Yes. <laughs> Who the fuck set me up for this, man? Oh, that is good. <laughs> Oh, that was fucking good. Who was it, Michael, that set him up? Unlock it. 
<clears throat> uh, wait, oh, I think his name was Jack fuck? or something. Oh, Joshy. Josh? Joshy fucking Excel. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what is this going on? Oh, dude, I can't believe you were keen to like. Dude, I didn't you so... think it was a prank after the fucking. When she's like 10 grand and it will go away? <laughs> He's fully going for it. That's so fucking good. I was getting. I felt so bad dragging you along for so long. Was... Fucking hell. <laughs> was fucking Jim can <laughs> That's oh, that shit. is a good time. Ah. All right, oh. Joe. Dog cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked, cunt. With him? Nah, man. He's just he's, he just sent it to us on Instagram. Oh fuck me! <laughs> fucking hell, cunt. Oh, dude. Well, anyway. I'm at fucking work. I'm fucking shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Fucking Christ, you oh. mad cunt. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Please tell me dude. that you fucking recorded this. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. It'll be out in the next week's podcast. Oh, fuck yeah. Right, man. Please. <laughs> fuck, you got me shitting my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Fuck me. All right, dude. Oh, it was lovely to meet you, mate, and uh, yeah. <laughs> you can go and relax. <laughs> Cheers, boys. See, See you, mate. See you, dude. Fucking Matt the whole time is like this. <laughs> Doesn't like to listen, <laughs> does like he? That. I can't it. handle it. I, I can't I'm, handle it. I always like to just push it further with a with a person to t- like make it more obvious that it's a prank call. But it's so funny when they don't get it. Yeah. I was like, by the end of it, being so weird, and he was still like, okay with it. You had spasms of the character from last week come out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, calm it down, calm it down. And then I wanted you to go on the COVID thing again. Like that's why. <laughs> oh but, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. It worked out really well. That was very good. Well, we are the best. We are the best. <laughs> we are the best and better than the rest. We're the best. Mm. We're the best. We're the best. Well, we're the best. <clears throat> Nothing else for us. We're the best. <clears throat> we're the best. 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 We're the best.